Alright, so it's, I am making candied candy apples for the very first time. Um, and I'm only going to try out with just four for now. These have been in the fridge for like four days. And, you know, I've already washed them and everything, put them in the fridge. And honestly, I didn't think about videoing this until now. After I had already wiped off these, as you can see, they're shiny. You can see the shine on these three. I didn't wipe this one off yet because I had just, you know, thought about recording. So, because I'm going to try something different. And if it works, you're going to see the full video. If it doesn't work, then you won't see the full video. Or maybe you'll see the full video and see what didn't work. But this one you can see is not shiny because I haven't wiped it off yet. Um, I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe it. Some people use bath towels and shit. I don't do that. Now I would probably use like a kitchen towel. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe this one with a paper towel. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I want y'all to just see the difference once it starts to shine when you wipe, wipe them off. Wiping off that excess uh, wax, I guess. These are not Granny Smith, as you can see. They're not red apples either. I, I don't remember which one they are. I got it. Oh, let me just see. They are Gala. I think these are Gala. I just bought those Galas yesterday. Okay. Alright, so this one has been wiped off. It's just as shiny. I'm going to put off some more. I got my little uh, cupcake palettes ready. Got my sticks in. And let's go over here. I used too much water. Because like I said, this is my first time. I had it in this pot first. I'm glad I poured it out of this pot. And poured it into the small one here. But it's too much water. Because apparently you can use like one cup of water. Um... I, I don't measure nothing. I didn't measure my sugar and I did not measure my Cairo syrup. But that's what's in here. And I balled it and I saw that it was still watery. So I went ahead and put in my flavoring, which was not a liquid. I used gelatin. That's why I said we're going to see how it works. Berry blue gelatin for the flavoring. And I used um, this white gel as my base just to kind of give whatever color you're using a darkness to it or a thickness to it and then for the color I want to do black I use this here Wilton icing color and I don't know if that's what I should have used I also have black writing gel that I haven't put in get but what most people do is turn this up to a certain temperature and then they set it aside and then they dip their apples I don't know when to stir it or anything but what I did I went ahead and put in my ingredients turned it up to a certain temperature let it sit and I thought about grits when you're cooking grits they eventually get solid which from just the sugar so I'm gonna try it like that I did turn this oven off to, to let these sit to let my mixture sit I'm gonna stir it up just a little bit still watery and it's probably because I just used too much water but otherwise I'm trying to use science if it works for grits or anything that you're just trying to uh, make a solid it should work for just this water or I'm sorry this uh, candy apple base so uh, I'm gonna pause my video here or I'm gonna stop it here and I'll make a new one once I get this to be more solid I don't want that bubble in there the bubble won't go away y'all why it won't go away. I better believe she's in the damn living room. She ain't in my damn kitchen. <laughs> 